<laughs> hey guys, welcome to another uh, review. Welcome to my review for the movie Tar. The movie Tar stars uh, Kate Blanchett and Mark Strong. The movie is directed by Todd Field. Um, and the movie is about a, reno a renowned musician, Lydia Tar. She's days away recording the sympathy that will change her career. But all the elements are against her, and she has her adopted her adopted daughter to help her support her work and all the personal struggles she's going through while recording this beloved sympathy, this iconic sympathy. Um, based on a true story, I don't even know what to say. I fucking hated this fucking film. Really hated it. Couldn't stand it. This movie is a, so far 8.2 out of 10 on IMDb. 93% on Tomatoes. 4.5 on Real Reviews. Um, fucking couldn't stand it. Didn't like this movie. Think it's overrated. This movie's getting so much praise. People are calling it a masterpiece. Cool. That's opinion. This is mine. My opinion. This movie sucks. I was agonizing to sit through didn't like a single thing about it, with the exception of Kate Blanchett's really, really strong performance. She's good. She's really good in this film. Um, I don't know jack shit about Lydia Tarr. I don't really give a fuck, but Kate Blanchett did the role very well. Uh, did she do it accurate? Who the fuck knows, but she's great. Really good. Kate Blanchett, any movie she does, good or bad, she's great. She's terrific. She owns it. Loved her in it. Shots were pretty good. The music, when I could hear it, was pretty good. That's about it. This movie's like Blonde to me. It's not like the same like, movie, but... You know, it, like, like Blonde was such an awful film, but it had such a wonderful lead performance that it kind of saved it from being complete ass. But it was still a terrible movie. That's what this is for me. Kate Blanchett is really good. I can't stand this movie. It's so long. It's so tedious. It's so artsy fartsy with its things, and it's just irritating. Oh god, I don't even know where to begin with this this damn movie. For one thing, the movie opens very oddly with the credits. The end credits are the beginning of the movie. It's like backwards, and no, the movie's not Memento. It's <laughs> it's just credits. So the first six minutes of the movie is nothing but credits. It's not the best way to hook your audience. You're supposed to hook people in the very beginning. But like, the first 20 minutes of a film is very crucial. And if the first six minutes is nothing, then it's not the best way to set up your movie. But this movie goes so weird with its story. It's so abstract. And, like, film is art. And that's fine. But it doesn't mean you have to like all art. Like, I can go to an art museum, and there's some art pieces, and very abstract art pieces that I don't like. Some of it I love, some of it I don't like. This is a great example. Very abstract, artsy film that I just don't like. I don't like its style. I don't like where it's going going with. It was just annoying. And after an hour and a half of this movie, I really wanted to walk out. But I, I stuck through, because I'm like, maybe it'll get better. Maybe it'll get better. You know what? It might get better. Please get better. It didn't get better. <laughs> Then I just oh this it's so agonizingly slow, and how they do some of its like creative choices I'm just like why, like some of the dialogue, like half the movie's dialogue I can't hear a damn word they're saying, and that's the point. It's it's a metaphor metaphorical for some like music shit. I don't give a rat's ass. I want to know what the hell the characters are saying. And oh my god, the orchestra music is like so ungodly loud. I'm like, oh, who did the audio for this movie? It's so annoying. It was either like I couldn't hear or I just wanted it to turn all the way down. I'm like, okay, go back to the mute volume. <laughs> it's like it was irritating. I'm like, oh. And then like there's a lot of scenes that go nowhere. And there's like conversations that last forever. And they're about nothing. I'm like, what, what, what the fuck is this movie talking about? I'm like, what has that got to do with anything that's going on? I was just, ugh. I, I was getting really annoyed with this movie. I was just like, like, this is supposed to be about this, like, this orchestra, this, this girl, and making music. And then 
the scenes that have nothing to do with that feel useless. This movie should have been an hour and 40 minutes, but it's like two, th two hours and 38 minutes. It's so long, and it's so unnecessarily long. It's, it's like it was meant to be this painful to watch. I hated it. Absolutely hated it. The movie's directed by Todd Field, and he's an interesting filmmaker, because there's some movies of his I actually don't mind. He did um, In the Bedroom, and um, what was it called? Little Children, I think it's called? Uh, they're both, like, kind of spiritual sequels to each other because they're both about unfaithful couples. Uh, both very good. Very good movies. I think that he tackles those stories and those issues really well. This one, he goes completely different from his norm and couldn't stand it. Didn't like it at all. I don't know. I, I am, I'm probably in the huge minority of this uh, uh, for this film because a lot of people seem to really love it. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I don't see it. I, I, I don't see it. I don't see what others are seeing in this film. All I see is artsy-fartsy, pretentious, boring, agonizingly stupid crap that I just don't ever want to watch again. This is one of my least favorite films of the year, really. I, I, I would, it, it would be like torture for me to watch this movie again. It, it, it's something like someone would force me to do if I did something really wrong. This is how you, like, punish a child watching this fucking movie. <laughs> Gabe Lynch, was great. That's it. I couldn't stand it. I will not recommend it. I could be wrong, though. I, I, like, I obviously go see it for yourself. Like, you might think it's, like, incredible. You might be, like, with the critics. Like, you know, it's, it's a masterpiece. Or you might be like me and be like, no, not for me. Fuck this. So, yeah. Scale 1 to 10, I'd give Tar... 3 out of 10. Sure, let's go with that. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you're going to go see it or you're going to skip it. Let me know. Join the dark side.